Hello guys, Seren Shop team here. It is me Daniel here and today I will show you how to connect to our Emacs and Seren Shop battery using your, your smartphone. So right here we have iOS phone, Android phone and also we are showing you the custom battery bottom tray to, to mount your battery even lower so that you can use your standard uh, clip of the battery. And also we have the the longer extended cap clip that you can use with our battery as well to not bother with uh, with taking out the stock uh, bottom tray and mounting our custom bottom tray because it, it is it is a, a pretty difficult job so we include this thing uh, with each battery and this thing is optional right here all right so let's get into the application we will first review the android phone and then we will get to the iOS. So if your phone is not Android, you can skip the video and use our time codes that are attached to navigate through the video. Okay, let's get started. Um, first thing we do is we go to the Seren Shop website. Sorry, my phone is in Russian, but it will be pretty similar to what I'm doing on your phone. Seren Shop. All right, so we go to the website, we find our battery. And in this section of the battery, we will find the link to our um, cloud where you will find the files for, for to update your, um, uh, to download the application for the, for the battery. Uh, I'm using the, the Russian file um, cloud. I will switch to English cloud. So you will have the correct link. I, will ju I just switched to the different uh, link to find your uh, your applications uh, okay so right here we go to android app and we go to the ant bms we download this file please download it on your phone i have already downloaded this file uh, this is this is how it looks it's called my bms uh, once you install this program on your phone first uh, thing you have to do next um, is you have to turn on the battery using this button. You have to press it a couple times to wake up the battery Bluetooth uh, transmitter. And next we go to the, to the device uh, Bluetooth settings. All right, so right here I have to find, uh, let, me, uh, let me disconnect the battery to show you again how to do this. So I turn off and turn on my Bluetooth. And then I look for BMS, uh, not BLE, but BMS device like this. I enter the password. Password is always the same. It is one, two, three, four. I press confirm. Oh, I wait for connection. And now I established connection with my battery. Next thing I do is I go to the, to the application and it will automatically establish connection with the battery. Right, so I managed to establish my connection with my battery and it said uh, it confirmed that. Now I can go to the real time as time state to check my battery status. So right here right here um, we see the voltage parameter, the current that will draw, that will go up once you press throttle. Um, capacity is not working, don't pay attention to that. You have to simply check the voltage and we will give you the table. Uh, how to navigate through the voltage like what voltage level means what percentage level you have and also you can use our battery display to navigate through the through the battery charge level um, all right so right now it is pretty low charge 54 volts is pretty low charge um, next parameter we have here is um, power power is also going to increase once you once you apply th some throttle uh, state of charge SOC parameter is also not working here, so please don't pay attention to that. Cycle AH means the capacity of your battery. So how many si life cycles do, do, does it have? Uh, I mean, how many amp hours did it, uh, was drained from the battery? Right now, this battery has two uh, around approximately two cycles because 95 amp hours, and our battery capacity is 52. This is like normal for. a uh, new battery because we test the battery before we, we ship the battery uh, next we have the cell high which is the the highest uh, elements charged level uh, voltage level and then you have the lowest uh, elements charge uh, voltage level then we have average of the cell charge 
and then we have the important parameter that we have to pay attention to is cell difference cell difference uh, is your difference between the cells and you have to make sure that this value is as close to zero as possible because if it is close to zero then your elements will be discharging uh, very equally and therefore you will get the maximum possible range out of your battery so if your value uh, is higher than uh, 0, 0, 001 like here we have 0, uh, um, 15 right now um, we have to go to the BMS control and we have to find here um, the balancing the manual balancing parameter so right here it is um, auto it is called auto balance so we press that and then we see that our battery is now in, in auto balance state this is now start uh, you have to give it like 24 hours to fully balance uh, each element and this will help you have a longer ride so what i suggest to do if you have this parameter not not very good value please fully charge your battery and if this parameter is not like zero zero something um zero 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 something sorry uh you have to press auto balance and give it some time to equal the voltage and then fully charge it again so this is how the battery application works there is nothing more you will need in this application other than the turn off of the battery um, or a turn off button which is called system shutdown this is needed for long-term battery storage so if you plan your not to use your battery for a couple months keep it charged up to 60 percent showing on the display right here um, right here so it must be 60 percent right here and then you press system shutdown and this will turn off our battery. Sorry, I didn't confirm. Okay, so now we shut down the battery, the display is off and the disconnection is lost. So this is how it works on the Android phone. And now I will explain how it works on the iPhone. All right, let me now show you how to connect to the battery using your iOS device. We go to the App Store, we press um, A N T B M S. We type that. And we find this application right here it's half in china it's uh, in chinese that's normal absolutely don't worry so now we open this application and you have to turn on turn on the bluetooth on your smartphone and that's pretty much it i established my connection it automatically automatically catches my uh, my battery so uh, if your connection is not established just make sure that you press this button a couple times on the battery to wake up the battery management system bluetooth transmitter um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Now we can go to the application and check what are the um, the parameters inside. So this is our total voltage. Please do not uh, use this parameter state of charge, which is at zero. It is it doesn't work. Please navigate to the voltage. We will give you uh, the table which uh, shows what um, what voltage responds for what percentage level of the battery. This will be more accurate uh, battery state of charge recognition for you. Uh, then we have the current, which will rise up as soon as you press throttle. Same with power. This is our highest battery cell uh, charge level. This is our lowest battery cell charge level. And this is our mean of the charge of all 16 elements that we have right here. This is the mean. And now this is the important parameter right here, which is called cell difference. Cell difference is the parameter that says what are the minimum, what is the difference between the highest and the lowest battery uh, element charge. Uh, so what you have to do is you have to check if this if this parameter is um, is higher than 0, 0, uh, 0 0.01, like here. Um, you have to do you have to click quickly uh, fully charge the battery and. If you still have this parameter like this, you have to go to the setting, to, sorry, to control and press manual bell. You press it and then you see that battery starts auto balancing, like manual balancing, and this parameter will go down. I suggest you give it around 10 to 24 hours to fully balance the battery. And then uh, once you fully charge it and auto balance it, charge the battery again and this will give you the best possible range at when you have the cell difference as close to zero as possible again right here we have uh, the cycle h uh, ah which means the total battery um, 
lifetime amount so each battery gets uh, around two one to two cycles of the running running time before shipping just to test that everything everything is working correctly uh, then right here we have our temperature sensors information like mosfet temperatures balancing uh, battery management system temperature and the other two temperature sensors that are located around uh, inside the battery internals uh, and here we just have our uh, all, of, all of our battery elements uh, charge level. Then we can use this uh, tab as well for quick uh, monitoring of our battery uh, power, uh, current power uh, when we ride the bike. And in control section, the only button you will also uh, accept the ba manual balance button you, you, may, you may want to use is the shutdown button. So what does this do is it shuts down your battery I press confirm and then my battery display goes down and you have to press this button only when you want to keep your battery at, at storage store like store your battery for around two months at least so uh, yeah the, just shut down the battery when you store the battery for a long time uh, other than that please do not change the settings if in the battery that you have right here it is all set up correctly please do not change that to not void the warranty um, also uh, so yeah, this is uh, like a little uh, overview of the application. Please feel free to contact us if you have any questions regarding the application or the battery itself. Uh, again, the important parameter that we learned today is the cell difference, which means uh, which, which that has to be as low as possible so that you squeeze as much range from the battery as possible. Keep that value as low as possible during uh, like when you fully charge your battery and you will be just fine. Alright guys, uh, thank you for watching this video. Again, if you have any questions, simply contact us. We will, we will be glad to reply any questions. Thank you.